Hi, some of you are probably wondering how come I don't have a display and a color measurement device on these tables. That's because we're gonna shift gear and talk about tripod a little bit because I just purchased a new one and I wanna go over and unbox it and give you my thoughts about why I choose this brand, why I choose this tripod. Uh, I wanna also thank you all of you too who have subscribed to my channel. As of this video release, we should be above 2,500, if not 2,600 subscribers and our channel is growing. So thank you all of you who have pressed that subscribe button who have commented and asked questions in the videos. It's just been a really, really great experience and great journey so far, and we're only going to grow. So more contents are coming. And lastly, I also wanted to let you all know that I am a photographer. I happen to have a computer engineering background, but this is also part of the reason why I'm talking about these photography gears and everything, because it's just fun to kind of talk about gear sometime and shift the topic from color management in general. Anyhow, let's get started. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. So we're gonna talk about tripods. The new tripod that I got, it's a Gitzo Traveler series and I got this one because it's smaller, but the reason why I choose Gitzo compared to any other brands, and there are many great ones out there, Sirui, Benro, Manfrotto, that all make you know smaller uh, Traveler tripods or carbon fiber, including Mi Photo, but I, you know, personally for me, me photo, I didn't have a good experience because I didn't think their tripods was as sturdy. But anyway, this is the Gitso that I got. This is, I think like the equivalent one right now is called like the Mountaineering series, but this is an old one that I got in 2005 is the G1227 LVL. And the LVL, what that means is that I can have the leg in an angle and I can center the, or level the center column independently of the leg, which is something that I really love about this tripod because I use this exclusively for all of the architecture shoot that I do for like the big hotel brands, Hilton, um, International Hotel Group, Crown Plaza, all the other brands that I have photographed for. Um, the only thing that's changed throughout the year is the head because initially when I got this tripod, I have a three-way head and that didn't work out too well. I didn't have a quick release. So right now I'm using the real right stuff uh, head with it and with a quick release that is Arca Swiss compatible. And everything that I use right now is just all Arca Swiss compatible plates because it just makes life easier when all the cameras you can just use an L mount and majority of them are going to be Arca Swiss compatible. The other head that I've used in the past is this little Joby and right now they have a new one. I think this is a medium sized one and the ball instead of being black is red, but this also works. It's a lighter, I would probably say like lighter weight head. Um, it's not really designed to handle a lot of weight, but to be honest with you, this Joby head, I have also used it with my the A50 and the 7200 setup and it has been working out just fine. It's just that it's not as sturdy as the bigger ball head that you can get. For this Traveler tripod that we're about to unbox, I'll be using this with the Sirui head and this is the K-20X. This is a fairly sturdy tripod. It's smaller than the real right stuff one that I have and we're let's go and unbox this. So this unboxing is going to be interesting because I am trying an advanced top-down view too. There is a mirrorless hanging right here that you may not see. But anyway, let's cut this open. So I got this Gitzo Traveler Series 2 tripod from BH Photo. And the nice part about BH Photo is that they have their credit card that, you know, they refund you or rebate you in the form of the tax amount that you pay. So that's really nice. So I just use BH for that. All right, let's pull this out. So that was a pretty big box for this little thing. Cool. This is a Traveler Tripod Series 2. It is a four section and I've been wanting this for quite some time. I've used one of my friends before and it's a really awesome tripod. So it's great that I'm able to get one. Some screws, center column extensions, manuals, and pretty much that. They have a strap that you can lock onto your tripod, carry it, and this, you know, cover. So let's pull the tripod out. So this is a tripod when collapsed. Really cool. It is fresh, brand new. It's going to be awesome. So I'll put the manual and everything to the side. Like all of us, we usually just take the gear out, not read the manual and just kind of ignore it. So what I'm going to do first here is let's flip this around briefly. 
We're gonna mount the head to it and also take this tag out. All right, some minor technical difficulty. Essentially, it is this screw that is the adapter for like the larger to like the smaller one. This one is using a larger screw and I'm sure there is a size. I just don't know the size off of my head. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do now is mount this on top. And that looks pretty good. So let's collapse the whole tripod and see what we get. So this is now my 6X Carbon Fiber Traveler tripod. Now, the reason why I want this is because it's small, it's fairly lightweight, and this is pretty much the size difference between two of them when folded. And you can see that there is a huge difference. So the reason why I wanted this Traveler one is because I want this to fit in a small suitcase so I don't constantly have to travel with this in a dedicated bag or travel put this in a 29 inch suitcase which i have been doing so i can carry my clothes with me too but look at the size difference between these two so this is just fantastic for me to just go out and use and also there is a weight difference as well this one comes in i think right at about what is it five pounds exactly with the head and everything we'll expand this out put it down this one with the head, the Sirui head, which is a little bit heavier, I know. This one comes in at around 3 pounds and 13 ounce, or for those of you that are using metrics, is 1.74 kilos, or 1,740 grams. However you want to do it's perfectly fine, but it's much lighter. It's almost half the weight of the other tripod. You can feel it right away. I could have got this tripod with the option that comes with the uh, Gitzo ball head too, but I decided I didn't want that just because I already have this Sirui head around. So I just want to keep using the Sirui head. But anyway, this is a tripod. And what I'm going to do is just a few more things here. Well, actually, let's do one more thing. I want to show you the length difference between these two. So as much as I show you this, it may not drive the message across really well. So I also have a tape measure. And we'll see how approximately the size difference in the two. This one is about 18 inch or so. The other one is about 28 inch. So you're talking about close to a feet, just about a foot like shorter. So that makes a big difference in terms of fitting this into a suitcase. And the next thing what I want to do is test this out by putting this into a... 20 inch suitcase, which I have one here. And that's also the reason why I set up that camera so that I can just throw this in and show you that this works. This is a size that, well, put it easily enough before all of this chaotic non-travel thing happens. This is the size of suitcase that I sometimes take on board with me because it's just so easy to travel with when you don't have to carry extra clothes. You don't have to check the bag. You get off the airplane, you go off right away and see if it fits. Perfect. That's all I really wanted. So now I can travel the world if I want to only for a few days with just this one suitcase and put my tripod in here. That's the whole entire goal of getting this traveler tripod. So I have the legs extended all the way. It is four section with three, you know, locking mechanism. And I'm about six feet tall. What I'm looking at right now is around 56 inches. So or 58 inches up to the very top of the tripod plate here. And this is about a little bit over four and a half feet. If I pull this up all the way, I don't think this quite reaches the six feet mark where I'm standing, but it does come close. I probably would say like it's five and a half feet or something like that, but it does work fairly well. And the largest camera setup I'll be using this with is probably this, the D850 along with the Nikon 70-200 f2.8. This is their latest one, the FLED. And if I put this on the scale, this camera weighs five pounds and around 14.4 ounce. And for those of you who are using metrics, it is 2.68 kilos. So it is a fairly heavy camera. It's, you know, balanced fairly well. So I'll put this on here and give it a little bit of a shake and see how I feel about the sturdiness of a tripod. I am on a cushion foam floor right now. Um, it does feel the cushion of the foam, but I think like it's sturdy enough. Like I wouldn't necessarily mind 
putting this camera lens on there, but most of the time I use this tripod to capture landscape, which is normally going to be shot on a 24 to 70 or a, you know, 14 to 24 millimeter or something like that. So this won't even be a problem at all trying to carry the weight of those lenses. And most of the time I'll even set the tripod even lower. So obviously the last section may not even get used, but yeah, I think this isn't going to be a great tripod that fits into my travel needs whenever we can travel again, which I'm really looking forward to just capturing the world once again. But right now I do a lot of macro photography in my backyard and that's also fun too because I get to shoot amazing bugs. Anyhow, I hope you find this useful, entertaining, and if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. I hope this answer your question of why she's get so tripod and why I've actually chosen this one because this is probably one of the more sturdy uh, one of the more sturdier Traveler tripod in the series that they have compared to Series 0, Series 1. This is the Series 2. So anyway, this is the reason why I choose this. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, art is right. I mean, seriously though, it is super light. <laughs> this Compared to this, it's like double the weight. This is so awesome. Anyhow. Yeah, I also have other tripods that I use in my studio too. This is for like the off take. So I have two Manfrotto. I have a really, really old Manfrotto that's aluminum uh, leg. And I also have another newer aluminum Manfrotto too, which I, you know, I think they work great. But I think the older aluminum is actually probably more sturdier than the newer aluminum. And normally I'll be filming these videos using this Gitzo one, but because I'm using this Gitzo in the demo, I really can't do that. Oh, and for those of you that are wondering about my overhead setup, it's really on a C stand and some of you may cringe about what I'm doing, but I'll show you anyway. So this is the camera for the overhead. I literally have a I think this is called like a Nui or something, a Nui clamp along with the Joby head and the C7 with the L bracket along with the 24 to 70 F4. Hopefully this turns out good. So we'll see what happens with that. But let's unmount this. And anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this outtake also of my video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.